Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> it's Sunday. It is that time again. So thank you for the people that are joining us and for the people that will be viewing this video later. So uh, we apologize. We're a little bit late. Uh, we were kind of in a rush. We actually made some pizzas. So this is actually one of the pizzas that we made. Um, this is our, yeah. what do we call this? This is the Vituli Special. This is the Vituli Special. Paul's brother has been torturing us with pictures of Chicago pizza. So thanks, Angelo. A little shout yeah. out to Angelo for making Appreciate us, it. <laughs> making us so, have some yeah, serious so pizza envy. We rushed and like make pizza. And yeah, because we got... so we're like, we really want to eat some pizza tonight. We want to make this pasta, but we really want pizza. So we got a little two for one today. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, Vitoli special here. This is um, mozzarella, goat cheese, so fresh onion, fresh mozzarella, yeah, right? Fresh, so fresh, fresh mozzarella. not the bag, the the shredded stuff in the bag. Yes, fresh, fresh, fresh. Just want to make sure people know, fresh. Fresh. fresh, fresh, freshy, fresh, freshy, fresh, fresh. Mozzarella, goat cheese. Uh, we did mushrooms. Or organic we've goat got, cheese. We've got. I swear to God, fresh. <laughs> <friend. laughs> mushrooms. And caramelized onion. Um, the mushrooms, were they organic? They were on sale. Organic. Yes. <laughs> so like we mentioned other other episodes, I know food can be expensive, so whenever we find things on sale, I mean, we always go and get the best of the best, right? So if it's on yeah. sale, and um, the uh, supermarkets, right, they have the, uh, the specials where, you know, things are going to expire, and so... We're, we're going to stock up, right? That means you got to make pizza when you're already planning to make something else, which is what we Exactly. We or said, oh, like mushrooms, let's make pizza. <laughs> for the meats, you know, we just buy it. It's super cheap, and then we throw it in the freezer, and then, you know, we plan out our meals for the week, the month, yes. the year. So this is, uh, so yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. Technically, tomorrow is St. Joseph's Day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is St. Joseph's Day. The 19th. Yes. But we wanted to do it because this is something that not a lot of people even know about. I know I didn't really know a lot about it either. Um, but this is, a, this is a traditional dish that we're going to make tonight using this pasta right here. The Malfeldini. The Malfeldini. Yes. And I do want to make a correction from last week's episode. So it was hilarious. I was talking to my mom. And my mom was just like, so I was like, because eh, we talk every week, right? And so, yeah, have at it. Thanks. No um, and and I told her, she asked me what we were going to make tonight. And I was just like, oh, yeah, we're going to make, you know, a pasta di San Giuseppe, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, yeah, no sono le lacrime. So lacrime are tears in Italian, right? The tears that I shed because of you. I mean, they're joys of tear. I mean, tears of joy. Um, so I called it pasta, but the pasta of tears. Right, right. The, yeah, tears of uh, not, Saint Joseph. Not quite the same. So, <laughs> lagine, okay, di San Giuseppe or mm -hmm. Malfedini di San Giuseppe in Molese Barese lagine di San Giuseppe, okay. All right. If so you, I just wanted to get that out of the way because I totally misspoke last week. If you Google it, it's called sawdust pasta, and that is a travesty. <laughs> so because it is very good. So because Jesus was a carpenter. Well, yes, St. Joseph was a carpenter, his dad. Well, you know. Joseph, I didn't. Yeah. We weren't a carpenter. Okay. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that's what we're going to make tonight. Mm -hmm. And it's limoncello part due. So we're going to yeah. make our limoncello tonight as well. So you tonight get a two we for get one. we taste it. Um, so, this, yeah, this part of the, the limoncello, this is super quick. Um, you start with a simple syrup, which we already made. And then you uh, take this... The brew we've had sitting on the counter for the past two weeks, uh, you strain out all those lemon rinds and throw it in the simple syrup, uh, stir it up, we add our secret ingredient, and then it's ready to drink, um, ready to bottle, whatever you like. Uh, so we're going to start with this pasta? So we're going to go ahead and with the pasta, I already have uh, water boiling, so we're going to go ahead and throw the pasta in, it's going to take about seven minutes to boil, mm -hmm. and um, chin chin. Chin Oh, I love box wine. Um, <laughs> so the ingredients, very simple, right? Olive oil, breadcrumbs, and I actually had some stale sourdough bread. It didn't even like equate to like a quarter cup. So if you do, if you are going to make this, that's the best way to do it. Some nice rustic bread, real simple ingredients, right? Flour, water, yeast, and salt. I don't even know why there are so many ingredients in bread nowadays. It makes no sense to me. Uh, but anyway, so I got um, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to toast the breadcrumbs. I got a half cup of grated breadcrumbs. And then I have two ounces of anchovy fillets. Now these fillets, I did have to pay a pretty penny for these because these are actually Sicilian anchovies. 
Um, these were actually caught in the Ionian Sea. Mm. Oh, you're, you're spilling the, the, no, the olive look, oil. See? Oh okay. yeah, good, good, good. Call. Good save. Yeah, good yeah. save. You, you can pour it on the pizza. You've been eating that yeah, anyway. It's delicious, you just right? It up with bread. And um, so um, bread crumbs. So in the um, so these Sicilian. Yeah, so these are yeah these are Sicilian caught. anchovies. Yeah. So and I have uh, uh, about a quarter cup of olive oil. Now these come with about an ounce of extra virgin olive oil. Um, so and I added another quarter cup because I don't want it to be too too um, too too. Oily. Tutu. Um, Toto. Toto. <laughs> okay, so did you already throw them throw those all, throw yes. those in there? Yes, I threw okay. these and you said eight minutes? Yeah, about um, seven, eight minutes. And then uh, what we'll do next, we're going to go ahead and toast these uh, breadcrumbs. So we're going to get this olive oil. I do have a large, large pan because you use that small pan. I did. I was and caramelizing the, uh, onions. the onions. The onions have to be caramelized. They're so good. And really, when I do the pizza, caramelizing onions can take like 100 years. Ain't nobody got time for that. I do quick and dirty caramelization, so I throw in some olive oil, some butter, uh, I saute the onions, and then I deglaze the pan with, I've got this maple vinaigrette uh, balsamic, and oh my goodness, it's so good. So and you then, just said a whole bunch of things, maple vinaigrette. Yeah, it's, well, it's like a maple, it's balsamic it's a maple, vinegar. It's balsamic vinegar, vinegar but with, it's, it's it got a maple, maple essence, and it's delicious. It's got maple, I think it's got maple syrup in it. I think it does. Yeah. But I just do a little pinch of brown sugar on top of those onions, and yeah, and delicious, yeah, so good on the pizza, beautiful. and yeah, it doesn't have to take a, doesn't have to take an hour uh, to you know unless you really really want to spend an hour caramelizing onions, you can do it kind of quickly, um, and they're still really tasty on the pizza. A little bit of sweet with the savory. All, All right, right, so I just so threw in three tablespoons of olive oil. I want to coat the pan at medium heat, and you want to toast the breadcrumbs until they start browning up, and then we're gonna take those off of the pan. And then uh, once that, so hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, pasta is ready to go. Then we're going to go ahead and actually fry up the um, anchovies. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and throw that olive oil and anchovies in with the pasta. Then we're going to throw the breadcrumbs in, and then we're going to mix it up. And there you go. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple. Oh, Have a bite. Uh -huh. Crispy. Mm, that's so good. That's delicious. All right, so... We got this pan heating up. We're gonna do these breadcrumbs. Sir, sure. are you ready for me to? Want to use a wooden spoon? Mm-hmm. Don't use like a plastic spoon. Don't need that. I don't. <laughs> How many wooden spoons we got? Like four. Something like that. Looks good. Really good. Yeah. Got five minutes left on this pasta. Cool. Beautiful. So. All right. Go ahead and throw the breadcrumbs in. Now it's a half cup of breadcrumbs. Let's go ahead and get this. I'm coming at you here. So let's go ahead and get. Oh, yeah. absorbed that olive oil there. And so we're at medium heat. And we're just going to toast these up for a few minutes. Oh, that's the color right there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So, how many minutes do you toast these for? Um. Two, three minutes, maybe four minutes, it depends. Right now I have it on medium heat. I know our range um, gets really hot, so maybe for like two minutes. Go ahead and toast those. Okay. Toasty toast. Now our simple syrup, now I think you just kind of like ran through. Well, yeah, you, so, the simple syrup for the, uh, so, now if you remember back to last time, we have, go. uh, or I'm going to go grab this thing right now. Uh, this is the, the, the biggest ball jar you could buy. Pretty much. There's it's a gallon. Right so it's a gallon. And in here we had the Sorrento lemons. We had uh, 13? Did we th do 13 or 12? We did 12. <laughs> so we did 12 Sorrento lemons, uh, just the rinds. Um, and then we took one of those lemons and we juiced it and we put the juice in too. This has been sitting on the counter for two weeks. Um, two weeks is fine. We've done three weeks before. I didn't really, there wasn't a huge difference. Uh, set it for two weeks. And then you're going to make a simple syrup. The simple syrup is, uh, it's five cups of water. How many cups of sugar, babe? Four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar. And it, we put it on the Actually, stove and boil it. Is that right? No, no. 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 
Because we double batched, right? So we, we actually, so this so is a double two. batch. It's, so it's, it's 10 it's, cups of water to four cups of sugar. So if you were going to do a single batch, then you would do five cups of water and two, two cups, cups of sugar. sugar. And we just boil the water on the stove. Um, do make sure you use filtered water. Um, we always use filtered. We use the, we got, you know, we have the filter pitcher in the fridge. Um, and we use the filtered water because it will make a difference in the taste. Boil that pour your sugar in, dissolve your sugar, and then let it sit and get to room temperature. Once it's room temperature, then you can take this and strain it into it. This, that's my favorite part. That's gonna be the big reveal here once we're done with this pasta, because it uh, it turns this clear liquid into this beautiful, like, buttery, creamy color when you pour it in. It's like magic, um, and it's, it's my favorite part. Um, but we're really excited to taste this tonight because we've not done this. This is the first batch we've done with the Sorrento lemons that we got from California that we ordered from the organic farm. Uh, so I'm expecting this to be pretty delicious. All right, how are these toasty breadcrumbs coming over toasty here? Toasty breadcrumbs are looking toasty. Toasty toasty? Yeah, I'm going to take these off because this is the same pan. I'm going to fry up the anchovies. And um, right. we got, what, two minutes on... Uh... We got two minutes on the pasta. All right, so here. can you bring me a bowl? I'm going to toss these uh, breadcrumbs in there. All right, this is looking tasty. Please. Awesome. Thank cool. you. Thank you. All right. So the breadcrumbs are coming out. They're going into a pan. He just toasted them up. That was olive oil, right? Yep. Just three tablespoons of olive oil, three half cup of breadcrumbs. Okay. Half cup breadcrumbs, three tablespoons of olive oil. Now, now here we comes are going the to... Magic. The magic of the anchovies, right? Yep. And we're going to heat it up to medium high. The pieces are so good. <laughs> oh, these anchovies. I was actually tearing these apart. So they were fillets, <laughs> and I actually tore them apart with my hands. You can chop them up um, so they mix in with the pasta. And these things are so salty. Salad. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Can we come watch this? So I'm going to go ahead and fry these up. All right, I'm coming in. Beautiful. Oh. Now, don't be afraid to get these... Uh, Ooh, and mush them up. I'm going to smash them up a little bit. Yeah. And so we're going to get these frying up for about a minute because then it will give me time to drain the pasta and then throw these in and then throw the breadcrumbs in and then voila. Okay, we're not going to decide just that. All right, so we're getting ready okay. to come over here and do up this pasta. All right, those guys are eating. All right. Look at this good. It's looking like it's about done. Yeah. Like it's yeah, about it done to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shut the heat off on the. Uh, where's my cover? Right there on the counter. No, that's the one we're using for the lemon cello. Welcome. Okay. All right. Tasty fried anchovies. All right, I want to save some of this water. So uh, All right, so we're going to reserve. How much are you going to reserve? Like uh, maybe quarter cup. So quarter cup. So I'll grab so. a cup. Quarter cup of reserved pasta water. Okay. You can go ahead and throw it in with the uh, anchovies there. All right. It's a quarter cup of the pasta water going in with the anchovies. I love wearing my glasses when I'm... You clogging up your glasses over there? Yeah, always. Ooh, it's exciting. The oil and the water. So, All right. I left a little bit of um, water in the pot. All right. To throw that pasta back in there. I'm going to throw the anchovy and olive oil and a little bit of water mix in with the pasta. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Can you see? Oh, yeah, I kind of see. Yeah, there we go. All right. Maybe we'll uh, hire a crew. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, definitely a possibility. Out. I'm cast and crew. I'm always cast All right. And, and so now the uh, the breadcrumbs. All right. And come the breadcrumbs into the pot. All right. Yeah. We want to keep it on the heat. I don't know. I can't see. Okay. Beautiful. And then you want to just mix it up. Mix it up. Make sure the uh, breadcrumbs are uh, coating the pasta. All right, you want to grab the, uh, you want to plate this? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's take it off the heat there. Make 
sure we get those anchovies mixed in with this pasta. Oh, it's one of my favorite dishes, literally. Mm -hmm. It's always the simple dishes that are so tasty. Okay. Us, us and the clear, clear plates. It's hilarious. It looks, anytime we take pictures with the clear plates, it looks like the food's on the table. <laughs> it's hilarious. You don't think about that until you're taking a picture of food. Yeah? I know, I know. It looks like a whole plate of pasta. I, I, wish, I wish this was a little lower because I, I have too much room. All right. <laughs> so, look at this piattone over here. Beautiful. Now. Ooh, yeah. Now that is what that's supposed to look like. Ilagini di San Giuseppe. There you go. There you go. And, you know, there's um, variations. Um, people actually add um, tomatoes. Add cheese. I've seen walnuts, pine nuts in this. Um, but this is the traditional, very simplistic dish. All right, so that's that. Okay, well, you need to eat this because... I do? Yeah, well, you need to have a bite because no one's going to believe that this is edible unless you put some in your mouth. So I'm gonna and you can stuff. put cheese on it, but I, I don't like putting the cheese. The saltiness of the anchovies takes care of... Um, takes care of that. How's that? Buon appetito. <laughs> mm. Yeah? Is that all right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. I'm still eating this pizza. It's just like my mom is. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. And they're not that dry. See, because I added that little water for you. And you're supposed to add a little water. I like them dry. Asciutto. I love it. <laughs> like, it's like just... Dry, very dry. But this, it's perfect. Yeah, this right? is actually one of the better batches you've made. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. All right. Do you want to go get the simple, the simple syrup? So we made simple syrup, and we have to let it cool down. So yeah. I actually place it outside because it started snowing here in Denver. Yeah. Go figure. It's going to cool it off real fast. So. And it's going to be 75 on Thursday. Colorado. Yeah. Got to love it. Denver All right. weather. All right. All right, so we've made this simple syrup for lemon cello. Um so since we made a double batch, uh, it was t yeah it was ten cups of water to four cups of sugar. Um, boil the water, throw your sugar in, make sure you use some filtered water. Uh, <laughs> now we're going to turn this into an actual cordial you can drink because right now it's ever clear of lemon, and it is uh, not not really my. Eye. How many pieces? How many bites did you take from? Did you like? Are you going to take a <laughs> bite from every piece? I'm taste testing. To see how it's turning out, and yes, I did. I took a bite out of every piece. That crust turned out. Turned crust out is great. good, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good okay, so we got this simple syrup going on over here. Oh yeah, that cooled down. Yep. All right, so you you have to strain these. Uh, you gotta strain these lemon rinds. So this is simple syrup. It looks like cloudy water. Not much to see. All right, so we put the strainer in here. We got the cheesecloth. Mm -hmm. All right. So we want to make sure that we put the cheesecloth. We, um, that's not making necessarily a mistake, but we've noticed that when we do strain it, we use a metal strainer um, that we still get some of the well, pieces of lemon, of which is fine. Which is fine. Um, but we it does, enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on, you know, we've, it, yeah, it, it definitely, definitely doesn't taste any different, but the pulp will accumulate inside the bottles. That's what we noticed. And, um, really hard to get that out of there once it's inside the bottle. You can clean the bottleneck, but once you go down in, that stuff sticks, and you boy, you have to soak it and soak Dave, it. Dave, you should so. wrap me up in the cheesecloth and then put me in a sarcophagus. That would be great. That would be fun. That's how I plan to bury you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we got that covered. <laughs> I'll bury you with that St. Joseph's Day pasta. I, I would enjoy that. Okay. <laughs> so one cheesecloth, we're going to go ahead and uh, line this uh, colander. Okay. Okay, so... Take a look at this. See, kind of this clear. Like I said, it looks like a, it looks like a drug test. Um, so, and these these lemon rings. So remember, like, this is the double batch that we make. So this is actually twenty four. This is twenty four lemons. Uh, twenty four mm -hmm. lemon rinds. And then two lemons that have been juiced. Juiced. On top of that with the correct. Juice and then that is the two bottles of of Everclear. Okay. So seven seven hundred fifty milli milliliters times two. All right. So we're gonna strain this, and we go, and then you're gonna see what it turns out such a beautiful color. It's my favorite. Here we go. <laughs> Be 
Game of Thrones are so like <laughs> they won't even come out. They're just like they're like they're like fossils. This ever just kind of shaking it just to make uh, all just kind of getting that liquid uh, that okay. liquid out. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that because I think it's right at the bottom. Yeah, that's it's actually perfect because that's like right at the bottom. Oh, yeah. You see that? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that. And while I'm squeezing this, it's actually going to exfoliate my right hand. <laughs> ah! Don't squeeze it over here. Look at that. just made it super soft. Look at that. Yeah. I know. I know. Between the Everclear and the uh, okay. lemon, it'll just... All right. Cheesecloth. All right. So let's show folks what this yeah. looks like. i got to mix it up. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me get this out of the way for you. Got it? All right. There you go. Uh... So pretty. Okay, now oh, let me uh, let me get this over so here. Nice. Okay. It's so pretty. Okay. All right. Is that All right? right? So look at that color. Isn't that pretty? It's just like buttercup, buttercup yellow. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. All right. So what's the secret ingredient? And let me know if this is placed right. That's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe it the doesn't fall. Go like this. We made this, yeah, that's okay. Um, we made this, well, we started making this in 2000, early 2015, I think. Well, yeah, maybe so it's been three years. Yeah, yeah, so we've been making this for about three years, and, you know, we've switched some things up as we've gone and, uh, you know, changed up our the water, the sugar. But we found that one thing that really kind of gave it an extra dimension that was really tasty um, was a splash of vanilla. So, Madagascar. Yes, like the nice vanilla. This isn't like the watered down artificial. And just, I mean, for this this double batch, I'm doing about half a, that was a, that was about a, a teaspoon. teaspoon. So a teaspoon. we do a teaspoon for each batch, yeah. right? Well, I usually do about half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? Since okay. this is a double batch, I'm doing, I'm doing a whole make, teaspoon. Just make sure. But mm, it's just tasty. Tasty, tasty. Oh, that looks delicious so oh, we got it we got it we got to pour it some in, so we got to pour some and have some all right well uh, let's and, uh, uh, let's bottle up like it, a bottle yep. and then uh, then once you yeah let's grab once you grab so we 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 use bottles we just save liquor bottles so we can use it for this but the swing top ones are really nice those are my favorite ones to use when we and this. so just getting back with the uh the vanilla it is um organic madagascar vanilla it is Top notch. It's very expensive, so if you don't want to spend that money, I think that little bottle is like eight, nine dollars. Um, there is the just the uh, domestic vanilla, which I think is about half price, about four or five dollars. The organic. You ladle so well. See you ladle. <laughs> You're, oh, I, I, I love I, it. I would make more liquor with lemon. It's just so appealing. <laughs> Babe, I'm funny. It's okay. You can embrace it. I have a strong following among I like 11 to 14 day. year olds. <laughs> My daughter thinks I'm hilarious. Uh, do you want to grab a couple of our uh, yep. cordial glasses and we'll try this stuff out? I'm so excited about the Sorrento lemons. And this is going to make, holy gosh, this is going to make a ton. Um, I haven't even like, there's still three quarts of limoncello in here. <laughs> Um, this is a large swing top bottle. Yo, let's put it right about there. Perfect. And and how you want to drink limoncello? Now, of course, this is a bit warm, uh, but you want to have it chilled. It's really nice, yeah. So you can put it in the Either freezer. In the, fridge or in the, the freezer. freezer. I said freezer, right? Fridge, freezer. You said fridge, fridge freezer. Fridge, freezer. Yeah. And I mean, some people like it a little stronger. Some people like it um, a little bit. What are you doing? Are we gonna? I was just gonna. I was gonna. Oh, oh well, yeah. I don't want this water gonna, all over the place. Get... It's gonna grow. Yeah. You don't want to ladle things into cordial glass. <laughs> but anyway, you can put. I, I sometimes will put um, a couple of lemon, a couple of ice cubes in here. Uh, if you if it's a little too uh, stout for you, this is also great in uh, like tonic water, club soda. I like it in iced tea. It's great Champagne. in iced tea. I mean, you can pretty much throw this in any mixed mm. drink, and it is money. All right. It's limoncello time. Do you want an ice cube? So it cools off? No, I actually taste love it? drinking it warm right when we make it. It's And this is, I'm so excited about these Sorrento lemons. Oh, they're going to be delish. Oof, that looks good. All right, you ready? Yes, we are. Smell this. Mm. <laughs> We've been waiting. Chin chin. Oh, that's good. 
That's really tasty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's a good thing that we made a good. double batch. <laughs> and so it is, it is warm. So you want to get the water down to about room temperature. Mm -hmm. It's um, This is a little warmer than room temperature. I would say it's probably like maybe 80 degrees. Yeah, it's still a little it's, warm. But, so, I mean, um, but it's delicious. And But it just opens the it opens the flavors up, having mm -hmm. it, drinking it warm. Mm -hmm. But it's delicious cold as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. Man, those lemons. Um but the last thing we should show them is, so after you eat your sawdust pasta, <laughs> I am going to scoff. It's delicious. If you love it, so it a really, lot of people don't like yeah. anchovies, right? So I get it. Yeah, you don't, um, you don't have to go that crazy on the anchovy, though. But, yeah, that was only two ounces of anchovies. So, yeah. and it, you just get a little bit of that taste, that saltiness, and the little flavor of the anchovy with the breadcrumbs. It's delicious. All right, so the last thing that you have to do. Um, oh, we didn't plate these, but we're yeah. going to do it right now. The St. Joseph's Day is... Uh, you really want to get, and I, I have not. I, I need to learn how to make these, but we have a Sicilian bakery. So yeah, we should uh, do a shout Ooh, out here. So this uh, is Zeppola. so Zeppola San Giuseppe. So there's one bakery in town in Denver. They're actually in Wheat yeah. Ridge. They're on 32nd in Wadsworth. Uh, Dolce, uh, Dolce Sicilia. Yeah, Sicilia. Mm -hmm. um, Sicilian bakery. Awesome. So we get uh, is yeah. that, I had to order them. Well, I was I, out in that area yeah. like two weeks ago, so I stopped in, mm -hmm. put my order in because yeah, these little they, they go quick. Well, and there's I mean and yeah I mean I, I I'm sure I could probably figure out how to make these, but there aren't a ton of I mean you know small business right. We want to uh, mm. encourage other small businesses, especially Italian owned um, small businesses, and you know I'd rather give these guys give these guys a bit of my money. Because they do a beautiful job, and I could make these, but I'd rather support this small business um, as other people support ours. So, these are the uh, Zeppola, and ah, oh, they are so we are we are we like pounded one the night. I inhaled it. I inhaled one as soon as <laughs> I got it. Oh. <laughs> yes, everyone. and they make fantastic cannolis, like traditional mm -hmm. colari cotta filling, and I think they make the, the custard. The yeah, yeah, amaretti. Yeah, yeah, the uh, yeah, very very mm -hmm. good. All right. So I think that's it, right? I think that's it. I mean, is there any yeah, that we did? We had our shout out uh, to uh, yeah the uh, Sicilian bakery and Angelo for giving us pizza envy. Yeah, I know, right? We made some sweet pizza that was delicious. Yeah. Very, All very right. Good. Join us next week, folks. Thanks so much for watching. We're really having a blast doing this. And leave us comments. Tell us what you want to see us make next. Um, my grandma. Uh, my food processor benefactor uh, asked us if we're only going to do Italian recipes, and I said no. Anything you want to see, I'm going to do some of my Hungarian recipes. Why don't you do a chicken um, uh, paprikash? I, well, I want to do. I, I might do. Week. I might do chicken paprikash next week because uh, my grandma was looking forward to that. I know some of my cousins out in Ohio wanted to uh, uh, get a little bit of my uh, my uh, my gypsy flair from. Uh, I am a Hungarian Italian hybrid, so uh, we'll do a little. Maybe we'll do a little shout out. A little shout out to my gypsies. <laughs> nice. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. See ya. Ciao. 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 Ciao, ciao. <laughs>